All right, now we're going to turn to chaos inside a congressional holiday party that has some longtime Democrats in Detroit saying demonstrators calling for a ceasefire in Gaza went way too far. They accuse protesters of causing a violent disruption during the annual holiday gathering for Democrats in the 13th congressional district. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the video of the chaos that included one person being struck in the face. There were no arrests in the chaos that broke out here at the Common Pub near Wayne State Saturday night, but there was an assault that was caught on cell phone camera. Bobby Johnson is the woman who was punched in the face by a protester, leaving her bloody. It happened shortly after protesters interrupted the annual holiday gathering for the 13th Congressional District Democratic Party. It was something that we didn't expect. We never expect anything like that to happen to any of us that go because we go annually to our Christmas party. Girl, my pressure was going crazy. My heart was beating fast. The party started as usual, but 30 seconds after Congressman Sri Thanedar started speaking, a woman on a megaphone interrupted him, calling for a ceasefire in Gaza, some wearing T-shirts saying, Free Palestine. This is not going to give you support for your cause. I welcome them to come to my office. I welcome them to invite me to town halls where I could come and we can have a dialogue. Party goers, including some longtime political activists, say protesters went too far when they were asked to leave and refused to do so. They were being disruptive Disturbed. and they were not supposed to be. The owner asked them to leave. I asked them to leave. They refused to leave, so they were removed from a place that they had no business and no legal right to be in. When the protesters were being pushed out is when one of them punched Johnson in the face. Some then proceeded to bang on the windows from the outside. <laughs> And they had their boots and shoes bamming up against the windows. Now you can imagine how that sound and how fearful that the people were, especially the senior people that was there. Wayne State Police were first to arrive and say at that time the protesters were outside. We're told they moved them back and assisted in getting Johnson transported to the nearby hospital. Detroit police say they are investigating what happened, but so far there have been no arrests. The fact is... What happened Saturday was something that should not have happened. We came there to have a good time. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim.